You guys can draw this yourself. Take any carbon atom, if you want to make it a circle, if you want to make it an angle, if you want to make it a C, you can do whatever you want with it. You can draw the methyls in, CH3. You'll see later you could just draw ME. We could just leave it blank. We could just have the stick going up. Do we have one of those in there? No. The green, we don't even need to write oxygen in there. We can just leave a little circle. We can draw the circle inside here. We could make it a rainbow. We could make it the star like we did before. So it's an aromatic ring with an oxygen in it, six carbons. So now we see it's a lot different from vitamin C. Let's see what else it said vitamin B6 is used for. We've got three methanols on that thing. It's a trialcoholic. Let's see what they're saying here. It says that vitamin B6 is a water-soluble vitamin, part of the B complex. Paradoxal phosphate is the active form and is a cofactor. I'll scroll back for this to read it. It's a cofactor in many reactions of amino acid metabolism. See that enough? I want to say they'll edit it later. So if you're going to have any kind of amino acid, which is building muscle, building neurotransmitters from amino acid, that kind of metabolism, which is transamination, deamination, and decarboxylation, PLP, which is paradoxal phosphate, why they call it PLP, I don't know. <laughs> it's also necessary for the enzymatic reaction governing the release of glucose from glycogen. So that's what I was taking gluconeogenesis to be, is what this is the opposite of. So here they're releasing glucose from glycogen. So it said it was discovered in the 30s during nutritional studies on rats. And thanks to a Hungarian named Paul Gugurji. So he discovered that vitamin B6, really essential to any kind of protein building, amino acid metabolism you got going on. Now, benzene, this is one of our starting building blocks. It's an aromatic, which means the electrons are shared, it's really stable, it's got a tight six carbon. Whenever you get a double bond thing going, which this has three, which creates the flat planar, all the carbon's got one hydrogen around it. So this aromatic ring here can be drawn many different ways. Some have just a circle inside. It's a hexa, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's got six things. You'll see this hexa uh, motif in bees wax, what do you call them, the beehives. Hexa is one of the strongest supporting shapes, geometric shapes that there is. So again, to make this molecule more recognizable, if you're in the middle as we see in cholesterol or vitamin D later, you got four rings out there. Some are five members, some are six members. If you got Ben's face in there, it's a benzene, it's aromatic. So you know it's going to be planar, you know it's only going to have one bond on that outside. Is it going to be holding the hydrogen? because that's what these would be representing. So it would be called a 135-cyclohexatriene. Tri meaning three double bonds on that. So it's all about abbreviations. They call them pi bonds with the aromaticity of it. How about this? Just for a little bit of history here. The word benzene derives historically from gum benzoin sometimes called Benjamin, benzoin resin. It was an aromatic resin known to European pharmacists and perfumers since the 15th century as a product of Southeast Asia. Corruption of the Arabic expression lubunjawi or frankincense even, even more.
So these are all printed out. If you want to go to sciencesgolden.com, you can print these out with all the fine print. I just keep finding the guy here. Frankincense of Java was what it was known as. And the acidic material was derived from benzoin by sublimation and named flowers of benzoin. This was the benzoic acid. The hydrocarbon derived from benzoic acid thus acquired the name benzene, benzol, or benzene. So see, there's all different kinds of ways you can draw this. You can draw them with stars in his eyes. Let's see what else you do. You could make him a pirate. No. See, this is, these are, these are things that little kindergartners could be, should be doing. You know, if you're going to draw a shape, who gives a darn, I'm going to say, who gives a crap about Elmo? Why are you drawing molecules? Now, when two of these come together, this is what was known as naphthalene. Mothballs. If anybody remembers the smell of mothballs. So two of these rings together, unfortunately, you have to draw it with one of the double bonds missing because it's up top. But it's neat when they draw it with the circle in it, you can put one with a circle right next to one with a circle. But when you're drawing the double bonds here, since they're connected, they're kind of sharing it. So now it took, I had a cool little design where it was two together, but now you can kind of see it as a snowman. There's one up here, he's got a smile on his face. I kind of liked it better with benzene having kind of a worried look. So over here we did one, you see the way these things come together now. You can get bigger combinations of the rings. Three, fours, five, six of them. Four together here I was able to draw two people. You got a husband and a wife. Which one's happy? The husband or the wife? The one's happy, one's sad. So two little snowmen, snow girls. This is art. Take something that is dull and boring and so that you can't understand it. And like if you ask this beatnik guy, he'll tell you, huh, chemistry's cool, man. Well, he don't look too happy, but he looks kind of hip with his little goatee there, right? These would be the pi electrons maybe going around there. They're little hexagons to begin with. There's one up here. Huh? He's got a little dazed look in his draw with a circle so he's kind of got a nose like he's a big clown this is a traditional benzene drawn here so you could color those if you want you could color inside you could color outside wonder how long it's been since that fell off Benzene. Where's the guy? We're going to find, since we went through all this trouble, we're going to find the worried look guy. This is the Ben. The original intention of drawing benzene here, see here's two together, we'll call it a naphthalene circuit, socket. Looks like the plug in the wall, doesn't it? Hmm? Naphthalene socket. Over here, for your enjoyment. We have vitamin B5, pantothenic acid, pantothenic acid. This is one I wouldn't even know if I was pronouncing it right, but if you could spell it. Vitamin B5, the chemical term for this, 3,2,4-dihydroxy-3,3-dimethylbutanoil-amino-propanoic acid. Now the propanoic it would be the three carbons coming on one of the sides of the nitrogen. So the nitrogen is going to split up the naming scheme here. But look at this. You've got the carboxylic acid tail. This could go into the water. You've got a ketone, double bonded oxygen here. You've got an alcohol here. Two methyls hanging off here. You've got an OH alcohol hydroxyl on the end. This is one of your vitamins, right? 
Vitamin B5, pant 